All right, welcome back to InterSolar 2024. Sunny Southern California, a little break from my Montana weather. I'm here with Phil from the one and only Fluke. If you're watching this channel and you don't know who Fluke is, I think you're on the wrong channel because I don't know anybody that doesn't. So Phil, I, who's not a fan of Fluke that's in the electrical trade? You have my own personal meter here, the 325, probably my go-to. I wanna talk a little bit about this, but I actually really wanna talk about some of this stuff on this end. And the reason we're gonna do that in this video is because you're the electrical contractor or even the electrician that's deciding to be, you're used to this and the light commercial stuff and you're very familiar with it. The thing that you're not familiar with is how you can level up your business with Fluke and what Fluke really offers. And I wanna talk about just a little bit of the transition and who is this for? How do we get into the field where we start talking about the big boys and making some real dollars and some really recession-proof businesses out here? So, Phil, thanks for talking to me. Can we just start off with your product line and kind of start me off with the basics and kind of progress that over and I'll have some questions along the way. So I'm super excited about Jeff's example is this is an excellent starting point for the, hey, where do I, where do I start with? It's my first meter. You really can't go wrong with the 325 specifically. Getting a good set of leads, very durable, covers you for almost any application you're gonna be in for your next couple of years. We're thinking about where can you go with, you know, starting point, then starting to graduate. So as your knowledge builds, you've got a, a very logical way to build your tool arsenal as well as your knowledge, as well as your revenue and how valuable you can be as a tech or even one day company owner. You, you too could be a 360 company if you think a little bit larger and bigger. So this would be a great starting point for being very safe very comfortable with just about anything you're going to run into with a, with a set of leads. Now, a couple of things I want to mention is industrial grade for sure, the plastics. I know that. But the thing you and I talked about and why I, I like this meter, it's my go-to. It's super clean and neat, 400 amp plant meter. Most other brands are only going to give you 200 in this form factor. That's huge. And also, now this tool lasts you longer in your toolkit where you don't need to necessarily upgrade right away. I think it's a great entry point for any electrician coming in. I know you're not in the engineering department, but whoever engineered this tool as a starting point just did a great job. Super clean. And sorry to interrupt, I'm always going to ask those questions. But I want you guys to know that this is a great entry point because it's also capable of 400 amps. I'm big on clamp-on. Now, I know you have your, your fork meter as well. We do. Some of my guys like that one, but that's limited to the 200 amp. For some reason, I'm always a clamp-on guy. But what would be your next step up, or did you have something else to talk about? Well, I like to build upon that. So this, the 325 specifically, is an AC and a DC and a low sensitivity DC clamp, which is mm. not available on the other meter. So you can never really go, go wrong on a T5. The T6 would be the new improved version. I still like a clamp, Jeff. Yeah. That just hangs there and guy. sits there. So I like to hang it on stuff sometimes when I have my leads out. A good, a good set of leads, which are the TL-175s. We have the TP-175s too, which are the removable ones. Mm -hmm. They twist so then you're going to be compliant with your exposure so you're less likely to get yourself in trouble electrically. I couldn't, like that is an excellent starting point for like where do I start with this and then we're going to go it's like how do we go a little bit fancier? And that's what's next. Let's do it. Uh, Genius, amazing. Yes, tech to me about it. The 378 FC so the FC is our Fluke Connect. I know all about that because we've done some Fluke promos. Go to our phone or tablet. So talk to me about this. Would this be the natural step up? And I don't know the retail price point on this one. I haven't looked at it, but it's tell about me eight, a little bit more about so, it. It's about $800 plus yep. or minus what's going on. So this would be bragging rights completely. What's unique about this is it has the little yellow area, much like the T6 has on the bottom. I'm getting current and voltage to the jaw with a ground reference. The 378 gives you power, quality, intuition, which without going to like analyze or logger, you're like, hey, this really is going to be a big jump up from the average person. Right, but, but if, important for our light commercial. We're getting lots of calls that need that. And the benefit of this too is that if I'm going into a junction box and I want to go onto one of the legs, I'm not taking my leads out and backstabbing, I'm not untaping, I can very safely say, hey, there's voltage and current on this particular leg. And I'm getting some illumination here of this is a dirty circuit, which is gonna cause me to think about something else I'm gonna show you in just a couple of minutes. Okay. Now, I got a good question for you, and uh, this might stay in the video, this might not. We got a call yesterday, Motel 6, 200 amp fuse disconnect. We could not shut down power. We had a back feed coming into our middle leg of 108 at the bottom, but 120 on the top, and we said probably a blown fuse back feeding. Okay. Now, we hot stick it, it kind of doesn't tell. Would this have been able to tell if that leg was down or that fuse was blown by what you just said? Because it's telling me voltage and amperage on it, where in our case, we were having a little bit of a troubleshooting. And again, it might not qualify for what we're talking about, so I might edit this out. But I'm trying to think there's some applications that we run into that we just don't think about every day, but maybe a meter like this might be able to solve. You know, I couldn't unplug. They couldn't let me shut down. We had to come back the next day. I'm just wondering what was gonna be the best way to analyze that without checking the fuse. So. 
Yes. I ran into another application the other day. Okay. Disconnect, yes. what I envisioned to be something similar. We had checked, checked, checked. Line side or load side? Line side. Okay, everything good. Everything's good. Uh-huh. Load side, check, nothing. Uh-huh. The fuse was blown. Right. Without touching anything or in it, no, right. look, mom, to wire. Nice. So, yes, this likely could have allowed you to do the line side and the load side that mm -hmm. says, let's pull the fuse or, like, I got to shut this thing down for right. a minute. Right, right. Yes. So, again, the 378, we just touched a little bit on the FC and you took out your phone. So tell me about while we're here, because we're just entered into the Fluke Connect. Top five things Fluke Connect, maybe top three bullet points that you're going to tell me why these guys need to know about Fluke Connect. Were you really there? What time were you there? Show me a picture. So it's the best way to cover yourself is by linking this with an app and it's documentable. Even better yet, most people don't know about this. So if you're logged into a your company password and you're shooting it up to the office, mm -hmm. conceptually, with a little bit of time delay, the office could be getting the same measurements you have back in the office right. as you're conducting or doing your S file. So I, I find no one wants to go back and everyone wants to make sure like, hey, were you really there? And here's evidence. Yeah. And if you ever question, this is a way to cover yourself for two, credibility. Two things as an electrical contractor, as a business owner, I'm already thinking. Number one is you now are offering value to the client when they say, how come it was $2,500? And sometimes you're gonna get that from new clients and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take out your phone and that's gonna determine the difference between just a regular electrician and a 360 electrician that's gonna give that client the value, the reason. Hey, we didn't just come in here and do a, a, a quick test. Here is your report. You need it for insurance. You need it for any other thing. What if it's a general contractor that got blamed for something? Now, another thing is, I wanna talk about it later and I know we have it. We get a lot of situations where we have intermittent issues. Is there something like this that can hang there for about an hour while we go to lunch, come back, and then we can download the data? Something incredibly important at this price point, if this does that, where I can literally hang it, hit it on, how long could this monitor or give us live data? Is it instant or is anything recordable? So once you hit save or store, you're, you're paired with your uh, Blue Connect app you do have a film strip or paper chart of recording. So there's a couple other different models like the A3000 series, which are excellent at that. It'll do 7,000 data points. Okay. You can do up to almost two weeks, provided the batteries don't last. Yeah. So the importance of data nowadays is crucial. The app allows you to document that you can leave this in the panel, you can close the panel, yep. you can measure with the panel closed. Or with the clamp extenders. Or the clamp, yep. clamp extender. Yep. So yes, absolutely, you can measure for a period of time, yeah. have a uh, very definitive evidence that, look, at, it, at one o'clock you tripped or something. That is an absolute game changer for the electrical contractor. And look, your guys are not gonna buy an $800 meter. This is the meter that whether you put it as checkout or you supply it in your top vans or your commercial vans, you gotta have this stuff. Agreed. I mean, it's, it's a no brainer. Wonderful. What's our next step up? Fluke 393. I happen to own this bad boy. Thank you, Fluke, for sending it out. It's a great meter. Talk to me about it. And now we're getting into the solar PV market with this as well, because of DC capabilities, but I'm gonna give it to you because over my pay grade at this point, just like probably the people that are watching, what do we do with it? Why do we need it? Well, we, we built a solar specific clamp, and it's also, there's there's other applications that we're not, uh, not planned for, but they've been happening. So unique to the jaw, 1500 amps, so you're safe and you're DC, like that's the new standard where yeah. your, your typical meters we talked about before don't have that type of insurance to protect you. You've got really high quality leads to come out from the oh. bottom. You've got a really narrow jaw on the top to allow you to get into place a little bit more difficult. Coincidentally, you have the Flute Connect app, so you can have video, you can have documentation evidence. So a very nice EV design, EV PV design meter, but it's also got other applications where you can still do AC, volt, AC DC voltage in normal resi industrial, but it'd just be a little bit overkill for Right, that. what's the voltage on DC again? Thousand volt. Thousand volt. Okay, so again, PV systems these days, you know, in the residential we're capping at 600, but right. in the commercial we're getting to that thousand easily. Right. And you have to have a meter that's gonna tell you how many volts you're getting into that. So, Correct. really incredible product. Price point on this, about 1500, I think we said. Yep, Very good. minus a discount. Great, great tool to have. Again, the build quality is incredible. I really do wanna do a lot more videos of this on the field, I do have one, so hopefully I'll get a chance to do that with Fluke. All right, moving up, we've got some of our stationary meters. I know, anything special we wanna talk about here? Because I definitely wanna jump up to the... Uh, uh -huh. And we'll go quick. So, okay. this is one of those little well-known secrets, crazy, bulletproof industrial, your same kind of idea for the original uh, PV market here. So I don't want to underestimate uh, looking up the Ampro heavy duty version here. If we go to the 1507 or 1587, so you have a meter and a mega all in one. Okay. This is another nice little tool. 
You can also make this a clamp if you want. You've got the 1507, which is 500. This is up to 1,000. There's something I'm going to show you here in just a minute as well. Okay. Jeff really wants me to show you this, uh, <laughs> the next one here we've been holding on to for you. Well, before I go on, okay, so here's a very important point. Let's talk about meggers. We think we know how to meg something out. You need some training on megging, okay? So I had a situation, I don't want to get too down and dirty, but I sit crooked and talk straight. We had some equipment, uh, let's just say, art flash and blow the heck up because we didn't meg it and we really should have. So if I buy a tool like this, let's take five seconds and talk about the support. How do I get the training on how to actually meg correctly with this, how to use this, and, and the full options? Is there, does Fluke have something set up that we can go to a website, whether it's when we register the tool? Who do we reach out to really understand how this tool works? Because again, people out there are saying, I don't have a megger, but we all know the name. How do we find out? So the number one thing I hear and get the phone calls on is, I push the test button or I push the lead, which is not here, but just use your imagination, the red lead with a little button on it. Like why well, I, I megged it. And my first question is how long did you hold the button for? It's like, well, a couple seconds. Like you need to hold it for the full minute. So you can actually do a test lock test on the device that allow you to meg for the full minute. Uh -huh. And that's the number one thing I get call on. And if you're megging, you need to check to make sure you're pushing and holding the button right. for at least a full minute. You need to leave everything else hooked up so everything re reabsorbs to the meter and you don't get shocked or arc when you unhook stuff. So don't get too excited with three Red Bulls you had this morning by unhooking stuff too quick. Right. And make sure you push and hold the button for a full minute. That's the biggest thing I see in here. And then you're gonna have very repeatable um, results. By the way, we have a Fluke Connect version of this, which allows me to evidence of, did I actually do it and what was the values? Gotcha. Okay, but again, training is available. Is there videos? How do we find out more about the meter and its and its capabilities? There's probably a Jeff video already on, okay. on there. If not, there, right. there will be one soon. Let's let's, let's make that happen. Fluke.com <laughs> slash library. That would be a great place for you to go look for the resources we have available. But yes, there's a bunch online for Very you to cool. be successful. Very cool. Very cool. So now I'm graduating from my light commercial, industrial, but now we're getting into some major PV stuff with this. I know it's the 1000, but it's the SMFT1000. You have two versions of this? Nope. It's just one version. I think the other versions are whether you buy it in the kit with the backpack and Correct. stuff like that. So now I might lose half of my uh, subscribers it's at possible. this point, but now I'm probably adding some zeros to my bottom line if I start getting into this kind of maintenance. What are we talking here? How does a technician, or you see, I say the electrician owner, the contractor, has always been a technician first. How do we get as a technician into this market? What do we need to do? Start working for a company that does solar farms, et cetera, et cetera. And then is there room, do you think, in the general contractor space, you know, electrical contractor from, you know, five men, 10 men, now maybe 15 men, women too, of course, because I are women, of course. How do they get into the market where they're going to need something like this? And what is this exactly going to help troubleshoot? And do? Jeff, SMFT 1000. So this is a thousand volt rated. What's unique about this, we really try to think through for the average technician that hasn't studied, they haven't worked in solar, is we put everything in order about the typical tests we believe are the most important. Nice. The first one, and we won't go through all these, and maybe in a video we'll do the exact around the dial, but the visual indicator, it will give me the prompting for each type of test so I can walk away saying, boss, I really thoroughly checked everything. We've got a unique feature here but about uh, not moving the leads. We have to still move some leads in here, but this really allows you to commission and troubleshoot a thousand volt or lower unit plus your IV curve. You would use this in tandem with the IV, uh, with the luminous radi radio meter. By the way, so I believe you can make the step and the leap of faith from basic to a more sophisticated meter. You can become more credible, more valuable, more important, one day start your own type of company if you're really excited. So this is an excellent starting point for becoming I mean, more familiar with all the variables you need to be doing, you should be doing troubleshooting at uh, solar. Right. And we have the function typically that will give you that kind of credibility and evidence through the true test software, which is included. So in the backpack, there's a whole bunch of stuff that there's just about everything you could possibly use with it. It's in the backpack, it's just not here. Yep. We bought Solmetric, as you probably have heard. If you haven't heard, we bought Solmetric. So we now have the Fluke version, and you might be the first to have seen this with the Fluke logo on there. Love so it. this is brand new. This will be out here very soon. This is our 1500 volt IV curve tracer. So if you're into performance, you're into commissioning grids, and you're 1500 volt, we've got your back. No problem with Solmetric. If you're 1000 volt or older on older systems or non-high efficiency panels, you're gonna be using the SMFT. If you're high efficiency, typically you're gonna be using 
is in the Sawmetric version. Gotcha. So again, contractors that are watching this, this is where this falls into place. I run into it all the time. I'm in Missoula, Montana as well. There are not a ton of contractors that are diversified. Somebody that might be you, there's solar panels on the Walmart in Missoula, where you are, and not Los Angeles, California, and San Diego. California is not the only market out there. You have a market for this. You've got to learn it. you got to get into it. There's no better partner than Fluke. Philip, thanks for taking the time. I know this is, one the, is not going to be the only time we talk. I wish I could sit here for another half an hour and talk about Fluke, but I appreciate you, and hopefully we'll get back on and talk about more Fluke. It's my pleasure, and thank you for supporting Fluke. We'll see you.